switching. Hi, Jill. Hi. Turn the volume up. Jody's here. She's just running back in the other room. Okay. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing much, much better. Thank you. It's nice to feel better. Yes. I think we're all finally back to normal. Good. Take long. Did too. Yeah. Water. So how are you doing? Doing good. Okay, so I have a question for you. How soon are you looking to move out of your place? Um, so I'm in default by a few months. You have to, you have to not pay in order to try to do a short sale. Um, the realtor said if I don't hear anything from the bank within a couple, like another month probably, that he'll list it. The whole short sale process, I guess, can take quite a while. Because my girlfriend, Kathy, who's on our team that just promoted a consultant, she just took a new job in Madison, started yesterday, and she's looking to rent her place out before selling it, and she lives in Elgin behind Toastmaster. And I didn't know if, how soon you were looking, I have no idea what she's asking for rent, but I thought of you, and she's like, do you know anybody looking for an apartment? I said, maybe. Oh, okay. So I wasn't yeah. sure how soon you're looking. I don't, I don't know that answer either. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Ann, how are you? I'm okay. How are you guys? I just love listening to your accents on Tuesday mornings. <laughs> Thank you. I feel like I just need to say, bless your heart all the time. And y'all, and you know, all those fun phrases. Yeah, grits and all that. Yeah. <laughs> you, you haven't met Randy, Randy. This no, I am. Nice to meet you. She's one of Rhonda's friends. I know. Can't tell. I know. <laughs> I, remember, I get the tree. I'm the one that looks okay. all that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so while we're waiting for some more people to log on, I have him with me because he really is the nuts and bolts of understanding the comp plan. And I need to know where we need to begin. Do we need to go as basic as you share, they share, repeat, or you want to go beyond that? Hi, Rhonda. So, Anne, where are you at in that thought? I get the basics, but one of my questions is, even though you have, you share, they share, repeat, that doesn't always mean you get your product paid for. Isn't it basically about BVs, or am I incorrect on that? <laughs> that That's a good question, but it's a much deeper question than I think you meant uh, it to be. Um, that initially you share they share repeat will help to get your products paid for that month but you have to keep on doing it to continue to get your products paid for and ultimately yes it does come down to bv so before we get into the comp plan we're going to go ahead and get started i do know that heather will not be on her father-in-law had a heart attack and they were taking him off of life mm. support so he was expected to pass today so she, I don't know where he lives, but she is not going to be on the call. So pray for her father-in-law's family. And then um, we got Shelly, you must be on the phone. I'm still on the phone. Can't get my camera hooked up yet. Okay. So first what I want to do is I think we have some victories to celebrate. So let's see. Jill, since you logged on first, do you want to share anything spectacular that's happened since last week? Uh, my cousin jumped on board last night and um, is planning on also getting her husband enrolled too. So probably another like week or so and they'll have another one going. So how many Kerwins haven't we met yet? Because, you know, we, uh, we have the whole family getting on board. That's pretty much, yeah, it's pretty much everyone almost. Um, I've got a cousin in Texas who I shared with um, right after NYK. Oh, I went to see her. Um I'm still working on her. She's giving me the financial backlash, but I'm trying to show her that that's not an excuse. So, <laughs> but um, she's actually pregnant right now and she, her pregnancy is high risk. So she has all kinds of concerns, but we'll get her there. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Well done. And what has happened with you in the last week? Um, I've been working the products, of course. Um, I have a meeting tomorrow, lunch date with a prospect, so I'm hoping that will work out. 
Okay. Good luck. Thank you. Shelly, what spectacular has happened with you in the last week? Oh, you mean the uh, star group sip and sample I had in my house? <laughs> yeah, I love to see young kids start this. I think the coolest part about it was not just the fact that there was a sip and sample at our house with the start group, but the fact that my son pretty much ran the meeting and then asked for my help when he needed it. I love that. And yeah. he's following up with him this week, I heard? Uh, yeah, actually today. How many kids and were there? How many kids? Well, he only had two kids. Both kids that were here were enrolled, but he had, right. pardon? I was just to say, but people from KG's work were there, right? Uh, two of them actually, so a total of four, two families couldn't make it, but Katie's planning to follow up with them. And then Katie's mom and boyfriend were here. And then friends of ours who also have a son who's 18 or not yet 18. So I'll probably be signing them up because Ryan's not 18. And then Max is a friend that tomorrow turns 18. So he's got a lot of things going on and he's being consistent with his Facebook postings. He's watching all the videos. He's, he's very engaged. He's, he's very a sponge. Excited. I love it. Mm. Yes. And I love yes. that he's willing to listen. Like he's being very coachable, unlike our son, which I <laughs> totally, totally love. Well, that's because our son knows it all. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and he's going to reinvent the wheel. So I can't wait to see what the wheel looks like when it's done. <laughs> so, Rhonda, did you have any victories this week? <laughs> well, <laughs> I had a 10 cycle bonus. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And um, have a phone, have a phone prospect this afternoon. Awesome. You sound like and I reached out. Yeah, I've been I've been under the weather, so you might want to mute me after this. <laughs> I didn't <laughs> think bad. I didn't work yesterday. I didn't think our germs could have gone through the screen with our Zoom meetings. I think they did. Okay. They did. Sorry. <laughs> And how much yeah, thanks that for bonus that. that you earned for the second time? Do you want to share that with everybody? $500 bonus. What? Yes. And I, I appreciate you guys for um, letting me know I was that close because we had some products we wanted to order anyway. So we, we did that and were able to achieve it. So it was almost like getting the products for free. And then some. Right, right, right. Awesome. And, um, so... Well, I was sick yesterday. I was at home sick yesterday. So I um, worked my little Facebook magic and I sent out some feelers and I was being really brave. So we'll see how that goes. Well done. Love it. Thank you. All right, Miss Kathy, you must have been walking before you joined us. Oh, no, I was over at a neighbor's helping out watching a baby sleeping so she could do her oh. daughter's um, story time with her older daughter. So. And what spectacular things have you had happen in the last week? Um, you know, I've made some new connections or people I knew. I connected on Facebook and I just invited a bunch of people to our sip and sample um, because they were like, wow, you look great. What are you doing? So I kind of was reaching out to a couple people that I've never talked to about the, the isogenics. So, um, so yeah, so that was good. And then that's this one. I thought I went to Barnes and Nobles and look what I bought myself. Yay! I haven't started reading it yet, but I will. I, I will. So. so once you start, you won't stop. Just so you know. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. So I'm going to kind of put you guys on the spot. I, I muted a couple of you. Feel free to unmute. Um, who remembers what one of the most important things we talked about with consistency last week, and I kind of gave everybody a challenge from now on, this is an expectation. Does anybody, does that sound familiar to anybody? Anybody know the answer to that? Uh, transformation posts. Yep. And what, what was kind of the, the conversation around week. that? We should be doing three a week. Two to three a week consistently. So I've been spying on y'all this week, all y'all, <laughs> and um, there's three of you that I'd like to congratulate and reward. So I went back and looked from last Sunday to um, 
for the full week to see who had done their homework of two to three posts a week for the week. And Rhonda had two posts. Jill had two posts. So you two friends are going to get a shaker bottle with some goodies sent to you. Thank um, you. And congratulations for staying consistent doing your two a week. And, you know, like we talked about last week, it's really great doing all different kinds of transfer or different isogenics posts, whether it's the diets or the snack suggestions or the power of the shake or, you know, purpose and all that other stuff is great. But we've really, it's those transformations, those visuals that really pull people in. So I really want to encourage you um, who have not stepped up to that yet to really step out of your comfort zone because that's where you're going to see more and more action happen is with that consistency. That consistency definitely pays off. So well done to Rhonda and Jill on that. And speaking of challenges, did you guys all see the leader challenge that I put out yesterday? Yep. Yes. yes. In case you didn't, it yes. is a video, a podcast. So this is how much I believe in this podcast. Um, Randy turned me to the dark side that I listen to podcasts while I work out, right? Well, I don't bring my glasses when I work out. So I just click on a podcast. And the whole time I'm listening, I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, everybody needs to listen to this. It's amazing. And I get home and I unclicked the podcast. What did it take me? Two hours to find the flipping podcast because I didn't see and have the name of it and they're not titled. So you have to go back and listen again to try and find it. So two hours yesterday, I found the podcast of podcasts dealing it's with objections podcast. and he listened to it today and agreed twice. So what the challenge is, is to get you and everybody on your team to listen to it's a 30 minute podcast done by Susan, Suzanne, somebody, um, Thank you, yep. Suzanne Hart, and um, it's fantastic. And then comment below a couple things you learned from it or a couple takeaways you got from it. And then it goes through Saturday night, Sunday, we will do a drawing, and the winner will win a box of bars of their choice, dairy-free or isolate. So um, that'll be exciting because I think the lessons learned on it, you know, <laughs> It's some stuff I've heard before, but don't do, and I really need to do better myself at. And it's one of those like, oh, I so needed to hear this again. And so whether it's needing to hear it again or hear for the first time, I think light bulbs will be going off with everybody on it. I like the way that she goes through and explains how to approach objections. And she starts with the definitions. The other thing I want to point out, because we did this after our call, is if anybody ever needs help or direction or sending this to your team, I also made a 13 minute video on how to use Facebook, specifically Facebook events, on how to um, get better attendance for your sip and samples. And that is under, I think that one is under ISA Journey because I wanted to get people breaking out of their comfort zone and share it with everybody. So if you're not familiar with how to use Facebook events and creating attraction and attendance at your events, it's a quick 13 minute video. So feel free to share that with anybody. So we have Randy with us and um, you guys wanted to talk comp plan. So I'm not sure where to start with that. My question is, is everybody pretty comfortable with the basic U plus two, M plus two? Or do we need to start from the very beginning? Or what we now call you share, they share. Yeah, that Repeat. too. Um, do you guys want us to start from the beginning or you want to start past that? I'd say start from the beginning. I have two specific questions. Um, as far as like where this like a strategy is where to place people. Okay. And then um, I'm a little confused on like personally enrolled as opposed to like if someone on my downline enrolls them and like where they all fit in. Yeah. Okay. Um, now, as far as you share, you uh, they share. Are you guys familiar with how to break that down? Have you watched the video? Yeah, absolutely. Everybody's done that. Um, so. What we ask everybody, and, and when I first heard this from Lynn Hagedorn, she said, you should be able to do this talking on the phone with somebody and having them write it on a piece of paper while you're doing it. So you have to be able to really describe it in detail to be able to do that. And obviously, you know, you've got 
the person on the left and the person on the right that enroll. And for instance, they do the president's pack now called the value pack. And that's $80 in the product bonus per person. If you do it in the same week, that doubles. So now you've got $320 just from the product bonus. It's called PIVs. So in addition to that, because you've got two people now that you've enrolled, one on the left, one on the right, you're a consultant. You earn another $50 from the company because they think you're, you're a pretty rocking dude. So then you take those individual people, and we can get into the tree later, but they do the same thing. You help them, and you try to do, we suggest you do this right away. That fourth or fifth day is critical, that when they're feeling really good going, don't you want to share this with other people? Don't you know anybody that, could, that would want to feel this great, that wants to lose weight, et cetera, et cetera. So then you get one on the left and one on the right of that one person on the left, and then one on the left and one on the right of the other person on the right. You're basically teaching them what you just taught them. Like you're teaching them how to do what you taught them to do. So in that process, they will get the product introductory bonuses. You won't. But what you've just done is you've created consultants. So you'll get $100 for one consultant, $100 for another consultant. And you can do that up to 20 consultants until you, we, we get into another no, one. No, we don't have time. This is shortened. Big story. Um, anyway, so you can do this again later when you have another uh, uh, business center. So now you've got two consultants. And they've just done the same thing that you did. So if you do that within 60 days, the company knows you're a rock star now, and they're going to write out a check to you for $250 for Crystal Manager. I should say, because you've promoted to Crystal Manager. And yes. as a reminder, because of the Crystal Reset that Isagenix did at NYKO, next Tuesday, the 14th, is the deadline for Crystal Manager. So even all of us who've been out of that Crystal time period from starting, you have one more week to either personally achieve or help your team achieve Crystal Manager. So does everybody follow what Randy's saying is you're going to help two people. You're going to teach them to help two people. So by helping two people, you create manager. And then when you do that again, four more times, you're going to be at six consultants because every level from here on up is creating consultants, not how many you personally enroll. Yes, you have to keep personally enrolling to create consultants, but all of your growth from here on out depends on how many consultants you create. So when you create six consultants instead of two, then you're a director. And if you do that within, I'm sorry, uh, four months, three, uh, I gotta think. Four months. Four months, thank you. If you do that within four months, then you get a $750 bonus. Now the cool thing with manager and director is they don't have to be even sides, they can be anywhere. For consultant and executive, they have to be even. So now if you build 10 consultants, and this is where they do have to be even on each side, five and five, then you have to go to executive. Bless you, who has ever sneezing, Rhonda. Um, and we call it race to executive, that you really do want to get to executive because there's all kinds of additional bonuses. There's the executive match, there's the executive pools, there's the holiday pools. So more money comes on the table the quicker you get to executive. Now, let me throw in too, when you hit manager is when you start being able to be involved in the um, holiday bonus pool. And that can be a couple of thousand dollars a year to start with. And as you increase in rank, your shares values go up and you'll earn even more. As an executive, it's about $4,800 or something. So there's money there. Um, directors- Would you explain the executive match? Yeah, the executive match is really cool. Once you reach executive and you're being paid as an executive, um, that they look at all your consultants below you. And if they earn a cycle, 
it's added up during that week. So this last week in particular, because it was such a crazy wild week, we had 61 cycles that our leaders earned. Like Rhonda had her 10. Um, Kristen had 20. 20. Um, it, so it, for us, it adds up. And so we had six extra cycles matched up, which is $324. Um, and that's fact, how we hit four star. Is right. our four star a star was not done organically. So we hit 54. Thank you, Chocolate Mint Shake. Um, and then the executive matches gave us the 60. And they have to be our personally enrolled uh, consultants to be able to do that. Um, I want to interject one other thing. I was going to talk about Cindy Walter. That's where I was going to go. So shared go with us yesterday that um, she earned 20 $2,484 just an executive match. Twenty-four eighty-four, an executive match. In addition to her regular cycles and so PIBs. That whole like get to executive as fast as you can. Um, that is a huge. Um, do it. Yeah, she just wants to ask a question. Okay, um, that's a huge like people here get to executive, get to executive. I think executive match is one of the biggest whys to get to executive. And and the leadership pools too. As you grow your teams and you grow yourself. Um, you're going to earn shares in the leadership pools. And it's tens of thousands of dollars. So it's well worth it to get there. Okay, what was your hand? Your, that is hysterical to see the little hand waved. What is your question, Shelly? <laughs> Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how you did that or where you did that, but that was adorable. Well, I was trying to figure out how I could, get, how I could just send you a message, and then I saw a hand wave, so I did that. Um, I know we're talking about commissions and I don't want to interrupt, but I want to understand more about BV and personal holding BV because I don't get that at all. Okay. So I don't know if you want to incorporate that somewhere or you want to talk sure. about it now. We can go into that right now if everybody's so okay with let's that. Let's back up one thing. Yeah. So Jill had asked about PET. So PET stands for personally enrolled team. Team. Something. That's all. Um, so you'll hear people say you get like, Cindy looks down to four PET or five PET. So that's just meaning who personally enrolled them. So Jill and Kathy and Rhonda are my per, our personal PET, where Anne is Rhonda's PET. So, um, but what we see, and we can actually drill down farther than that, but um, for the Isopulse app, we get information about our four PET. So four levels down is how far we can see as far as um, people uh, enroll, enrolling people or uh, promoting advancements. Uh, Silver Star, whatever it might be, P, uh, double PIBs, that will get that information. Now, commission-wise, there is no floor. You get paid all the way down your tree. But what we're seeing on Isopulse is four levels. Okay? And from what I can tell, we've got over 200 levels now. So it, it goes really deep. And we earn about 6% off of each and every um, BV or product sold. Now, the way they figure BV is it's equivalent to the product price. So if you've got um, a box of, or, or a shake canister at $39.95, um, then the BV on that is around, wasn't it 35? I wasn't listening. I'm sorry. Shake canister. 30 BV. Uh, 30 BV. So it's, it's less than the, the dollar value. So when you say that you have one cycle, that's 900 BV. So 900 BV, 6% of that is what we're figuring. It's, it's, it's just formulas that they play with. But um, the BV, once again, left leg, right leg, and everybody on those legs is what's flowing up to you. So it's continually added during the week. Oh, she's got a picture. So I did do a quick little visual because I want to make sure you guys understand this. I should have done the marker. So obviously you have you at the top, and then you have your consultants you built, and then they're continually building. And as you can see, you always have a strong leg and a weak leg. You don't determine which is your strong leg and weak leg. It happens to be where you fall in somebody's tree. So you'll always have a strong leg. You'll always have a weak leg. 
when you have 300 on your weak leg, which as you can see, this would be the weak leg, and then you have 600 on your strong leg, so when you have them simultaneously, 300 and 600 to together total 900, that equals one cycle. One cycle is equivalent to $54. So one of the things that happens is if you're not cycling, then, um, and you keep your 100 BV and you keep doing that every month, your personal holding volume, which is separate from your left team and your right team, your left leg, your right leg. So your personal holding volume will actually accumulate as it did with Jody. Um, for almost two years. Except that's going to go away with the new plan. The new plan is changing things. Uh, and we're going to try to do some uh, training. Don't ask us about it yet. Yeah. We're still learning. We're going to do some training about it. But uh, they also have uh, webinars starting on the 9th, this Tomorrow. Thursday, at oh, uh, 6 p.m. Eastern time, 5 p.m. Uh, our time. And that's this Thursday, next Thursday, and the following Thursday that – uh, Isogenics HQ is going to be putting on those webinars to explain the new compensation plan. It's not new compensation plan, new customers first. But new customers first, but it is a modification of the compensation plan. It's everything that we're doing and a little bit more. So, so what it does is open up the door to people who just want to be product users who just and, want to buy a can of stir shakes like you were going to a store. They may go out and they may share the wonderful products with friends of theirs and their friends want to join too as product users. So if they bring on two people, they become consultants in that way, but they can get free product, product Okay, we don't have time to keep going to that. We need they to can choose to this. become a consultant and take money. Okay, they're on lunch break. We need yes. to keep moving. So... So, um, does everybody get what a cycle is and how to cycle and how much BV is required? Okay. I, yes, go can ahead. Can I ask another question? So, when you have your personally enrolled BV and it's on the right or the left side, does, does that only start being – I don't get when that is used versus your other – when do you use that? BV? Well, you don't, you don't see your personally enrolled BV add up. It's your total BV that's okay. added up. Um, and and when, when we fall into like that grace period, you know, like if you order right. every, if you have, if you have it set to order every 28 days, and like my example would be just in these last few days, my credit card had expired. And so my shipments didn't go through. Right. But then it took like two or three days before I realized, got back in there, changed the credit card. So then did it not... I think then I lost my 28 days, correct? Mm -hmm. Maybe. Uh, then yeah, I lost you would. The okay. So the holding BB is what we consider your personal bank. So when we always tell people, and, I'm, and I hopefully you guys all saw Kristen Kosky's post about Amy, that Amy was a consultant. One of her people pushed out her auto ship and it basically turned off her auto ship. And so it got, it, she didn't have any cushions, so she wasn't a consultant anymore. But she kept doing her 100 BV every month, which we call your savings bank. In Isogenics term, it's your holding BV. So when right. you're logged in, I think Randy's going to share a screen to show you, your holding BV will state at the bottom, you have X amount of holding BV. So for however long it was, it was something like 12 months or something, Amy had been doing her $100 or 100 BV orders every month. And then her girl turned around and ordered some chocolate mint shake, which brought her back up to consultants. And she cycled, I forget, 20 some times. And because her holding BV had never quit. So are you sharing that screen? Well, we don't show um, holding volume. No, but. But I can share it here. I'll show you. <laughs> okay, so Randy's going to share a screen with you guys. This is. This is our page. Can everybody see that? Somebody can Rhonda, can you shake your head? Can you see that? Okay. okay. Yeah. So this is this is ours and it shows the BV summary for the week. Um, and each week it shows how much? 32, 35, 26, 54. Um, and it shows our left team and our right team. And that all that is telling you is how much was used that week. 
then it shows current remaining volume at the bottom of each list. Now, what we need for the next cycle is down on the next row right there. Um, if you have holding volume, it will be down in this area where you need for your next cycle. So all of Amy's calculating savings bank orders over 100 BV, that number just kept raising and raising and raising and raising. But in a month, face break break, she said, I'm going to go on vacation and push out my auto ship. All of that money that she was accumulating for holding BV zeroes out. Right. Um, oh, gosh, what was I going to say? And that happened with me too, that when I went from Tastefully Simple to Isogenics, I had 14 months of holding BV and my cash out check was $1,200. Now again, this is supposedly changing from what we can tell with this new customer first, that you're only going to be able to accumulate holding BV, I think it's up to 90 days. So something like that. Right. So if you, this is where you as a leader, maybe drill down and look up all of your associates, especially your pirates who have holding BV, you're gonna want them to find their second person before March 27th, before this new plan takes effect, so that they can cash out their holding BV. Okay. Because if they change this, they may lose that holding BV. So, um, for you, Shelly, I pulled up your page, I hope you don't mind. We have five minutes. Okay, um, <laughs> you don't have any personal holding volume, but look at your right sales team. Can You've you got share that screen? Shelly, are you okay with us sharing your screen? Yeah, and I was looking at Mike's screen, so let me change that. Yeah, that's, that's, that's Mike's we're screen. On. We're on Mike's. So I'm showing oh. 600, almost 652,000 BV on your right leg. Right. So, you know, the tendency is going, okay, I need to build up my left leg so that I can cycle more, but that's not what we recommend. You can, you right. can build to it, but you should still need to uh, cycle left, right, left, right, because you don't know who your leaders are going to be. Okay. Shelly, are you okay with me continuing to use your screen? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So when somebody calls and says, yes, ideally you want to alternate, but I'm also about strategy, and I would ask you, where's the weakness on your team? Where's your holes? So don't ever look at placement tree because placement tree is going to confuse the heck out of you. And are we on placement tree? Yeah. No. Okay. What I like to look at, is under team, nope, I like to click on view my team, which is where Randy is right now. No, just let me go for a second. So under view my team, when you scroll farther down, this will show you who you personally enrolled. So one, it gives you an idea of your people, maybe they've pushed out an auto ship, maybe they're not hitting their 100 BV. Cycle back around with them. Those are the people you want to try and get on this new spring training page that Lori Olson's leading. Maybe um, they didn't know about the chocolate mint shakes. Maybe they want to get in shape for summer. Like or they may be, uh, like Max in particular, 353 BV. Now, if you've got anybody that's running over. Okay, use Linda Hicks as Yeah, example. 200 Linda. BV every week or the last 30 days, then Talk to them about maybe expanding a little bit. Get another family member or two in the house to um, enroll so they can split the orders and start earning some cycles from becoming a consultant. Right. So Shelly has been talking to Linda about enrolling her husband, Mike, because she's consistently over 200 BV every 30 days. The other thing I want to do is when I was saying looking for holes, so she has – just like us, Mike is her primary account, Shelly's her secondary account. So she put Shelly, Shelly came in on the left, which we typically will put spouses on the weak leg so that you have control in ordering. If you need a cycle to happen, you can put that order in under, the week, under your spouse and it will help you cycle. So when it was time to add Max, when he turned 18 last month, she called saying, where should I put Max? Well, in my opinion, you put them on the opposite side as your other family member because then you have security. You, you have control on both sides. Control of both accounts. You know how you can, you know, help edit this. And Rhonda did a really good job of this where she added Brett and both of her adult kids because you kind of split them up so you have control over them as well. And then you look at who are my people who are consistent with the program? Who are people that tend to push out their auto ship? So 
even beyond max and having control of one of each side, where's my weakness? Who's pushing out their auto ship? Who isn't keeping the synergy of the system together? That's where I look at where to place somebody. That if you have everybody on your left leg that's crushing it, but you have dabblers, I'll call them, on the right leg, you want to do your next enrollment on that right leg to give yourself some cushion from the dabblers. And you can see that in, in Shelly's page that Amy McGillivray was the only person on the right leg that was really doing anything. And so bringing Max in on the right solidified the right leg. Now you can add a couple more people to the right leg to build it up a little bit more, but then you can uh, start playing with it a little bit more. So instead of going straight left, right, left, right, I like to see where are my holes? Don't chase cycles. Where's the strength and where's the weakness in my team? I need right. spaces. Stop here. Where? Right there. Okay. Does that make sense, everybody? Does that help? Okay, now I know some of you are on your lunch breaks. So we may be out of time because we're at 12.05. Do you want us to keep going or do you want us to continue next week? Hello? I have time to stay. Okay. Rhonda, has Rhonda you, do you want to continue next week? Um, yes, I need to go, but you guys can continue now. I'm okay with that. I'll just slip out. Okay. Okay, get well. Anne, how about you? You're good with time? I'm good with time. Okay. Um, so does that answer your question, Jill, a little bit on placement tree and where you place somebody? Yes. Okay, um, did we not answer a question? I can see yeah. the spinning. Yeah, the, as far as like the specific square though, I always like go all the way to the bottom, is that? Yes, yeah, so whenever yeah, you're see. gonna enroll, you'll always hit those outside arrows because you always wanna be on the outside. When you put somebody on the inside, you're burying them and not getting team members for them. So do you, how, ex, do you want to explain how your inside gets filled? Um, yeah, let me, let me find, you keep talking okay. for a second. I've got to find something and then I'll share okay. that. Okay, so the way I view the inside leg, so whenever you enroll, you're going to hit that bottom outside right or bottom outside left to enroll. So say your spot is up here and when I hit my bottom outside, What's happening is everybody below me benefits by me pushing bottom outside because that, in essence, helps fill the inside of their trees. So if you were to click on an inside leg, they're not getting everybody's bottom outside leg. They're kind of getting buried inside. So okay. we're all inside legs to somebody, if that makes sense. But you always want to click that bottom. Is it shared? No, yeah. but it will be. He's going to share another page. You always want to click that bottom right and bottom left so you that... You see this up? There's your bottom right. Here's your bottom left. So you want to click those bottoms, or those buttons, to take you all the way down to the bottom. Otherwise, you can end up sticking somebody down in here in a block that's buried in the middle of nowhere. Right. So That's, that's what I did last night. You buried somebody? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have, what is it, 24 or 36 hours, hours to call corporate, say, I made a mistake, I need to move them to the outside of that leg. Bottom left. Okay. Any, any change that you need to make, I think they'll even let you change from a left to a right if you put yes. it on the wrong side. If you make a mistake like that, you have like 24 or 36 hours to call corporate and they'll let typically... I think they say they have to run it past the client. It goes they to the client's department it. and it takes two or three days, but it's, it's pretty quick. But you need to get a hold of them quickly, like today. Okay. So, yes, always hit bottom outside. So, you'll go ahead and you'll select that one. And then you'll see this next picture, which is, do you see the one where it's unoccupied? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, that's where you want to put the person next. Or you can put them here. Uh, well, I'm sorry. I'll take this. You went down to the bottom right. So this is where you are. Right. Um, so you'll put them sponsor new associate in this spot. Yeah. Whenever you hit that bottom right, it's going to show you where. Or bottom left, it's going to show It'll you where. It'll be flipped if it's bottom left. Okay. Does that make sense, you guys? Yeah. 
Does that help? Okay, yeah. so that answers your question, correct? Yeah. Okay, um, and then Shelly, your question was what? Here, wait, you're muted, hold on. Okay, what was your question again then? My question was about the personal BV. Okay, did that make sense to you? Or you still have questions about that big number of BV that's on your right leg? No, I mean, I know, I know what it's there for. And I realized last night when I was updating my credit card, because the credit card had just expired, that obviously on my account, I lost the personal holding BV. But again, that's my account. And I'm more concerned about Mike's account and Max than mine. So I'm okay with it. I just wanted okay. to confirm that I knew what I was talking about. Right. And so if you're ever wondering like, hey, which is my strong leg? All you have to do is look at those two volumes and whichever leg has that monster volume on it, that's your strong leg. Um, something that can happen to let you know. So when we first started, our strong leg was actually our left leg. And um, here's, here gets into the whole prejudging thing. When people come to you and say, oh, I'm not interested in the business. I just want the products. Every single one of our leaders said that. And ironically, almost all of our leaders, Jill, you're not, but Kathy and Rhonda and Kristen and Tanya and Shelly are all on our right leg. So what happened is at the same time, Shelly and Kristen and Tanya all grew at the same pace, or at the same time, I should say, that our strong leg was our left leg. And by these guys all growing, we actually flipped. And so now our strong leg is our right leg. But we'll, we actually will weekly swap back and forth. Ours is almost so ours even is now. pretty balanced. But what we did is knowing that we may have less executives on our right, but there's rock solid consultants that we don't have to worry about, you know, them falling out of consultantship that for I think eight months straight, we loaded the left side because we're looking for more leaders on that left side. So it had nothing to do with chasing cycles or where people were, we were looking up, where do we need cushion with leaders? So that's what I would encourage you guys to look at, especially as you're climbing to executive, because by the time you get to executive, you do need to even out at five and five. So when we were director, we were four and two. And then we had to even out five and five. Does that make sense? I can't see their faces, honey. Yeah. Okay. Is there any other question we have? And if we want, we can pull in Randy again next week. And if you guys want to think of more questions regarding the comp plan or the trees that you don't understand. I see. My perspective, Jody, I think is just hearing this, like me coming to the sip and samples, hearing it over and over and over again, I think is helpful for me. So seeing it like this and seeing it drawn out, it's clicking a little bit better. And I think that's what I need. Right. And that whole sheet that I've put up on, um, it's in the file cabinet and shooting stars. And I'll put it back up again so you guys have it as a quick resource. Is there's three or four video links that all deal with the compensation plan, but in a different way. So Glenn Hagedorn talks about get your people paid. Tracy O'Malley does the math backwards. Um, those two young kids, which I think is the best visual, showing how tree placement works and how BV works. Like there's three different videos, but all accomplish three different things. Watch them a couple times. I think I've seen each of them four times that you'll learn something new each time you watch them and they all have great visuals with them that I am a visual person. So I'm like you, Kathy, I have to see it in front of me to understand it. And the Jim Smith video that Jody likes, uh, goes I don't think in. I have that one anymore. Okay. I was going to say I, it's I got the kids tree better. placement. No, so do the kids. In this step. Like uh, we were talking I'm about. Not sure. Um, yeah, it's one, pretty one, depth, last thing. The one that they do. Yeah. Okay. One last thing I wanted to share with you guys. Um, is this picture showing our back office and it shows our personally enrolled paid as consultants down here at the bottom. And this is a place that, that we start with. I mean, it's your home page, So it's going to show you where your consultants are who's and in who's in grace. Then you can drill down by going into your team. And I love the view my team by itself, which is the site we were just on. And then you scroll down on this page, and this will list all of your consultants. 
apparently uh, internet slow. It. So you can see on here who's on the left and who's on the right and who's in grace. So grace can mean a couple of things. The grace could mean that they're not hitting their 100 BV or that one of their team members has either stopped an auto ship, pushed out an auto ship, or not hitting 100 BV. So it's not just your personal account. You've got to look at who's on their, your team to see why. And if, you're at all, if you don't have a cushion and you only have one person on the left and one person on the right, and this person um, on the right pushes out their auto ship, that's why you're going to go into grace. So you know that you need 10 and five and five for executive, but like Erica Federoff on the mastermind call yesterday said, you really want 10 and 10 on each side. Like we always get nervous if we're at six and six, because you're going to have people like Randy said, or I've said before, a third will come into the, the journey, a third will stay and a third will choose leadership. Uh, and, and actually a third will leave. So you're constantly having a third leave. You're constantly having a third stay and you're constantly having, you know, some go into leadership. So you have to replace those that are leaving. And even people who've been consultants, which shocks me, um, choose to leave at times. And again, you can't want it more for them. And so you'll see people float in and out of their consultantship. And so you want that cushion of at least two to three people on each side is that cushion. Plus, that's why we use that page is we drill down then through the teams to see how our personally enrolled are doing. And... Um, like it's the beginning of a new month. So we'll go through and we'll contact people starting from that list, looking who's even inactive not, and terminated that's not even with us um, right now and reach back out to them and say, hey, how you doing? I was just thinking about you. Uh, just wanted to let you know we're still here. If you ever change your mind, you want to come back, uh, start your health journey up again, just give us a call. And we've had five people re-enroll. Even after they quit, because sometimes people need to go back to feeling like crap before they realize how good they felt. But your back office is really important to drill down, find out what's going on in there. Um, if you've noticed that all of a sudden you're starting to get a lot of BV on one of your legs for some reason, you don't know where it's coming from, start drilling down. Find out who's the rock star down there. And just reach down and say, hey, how you doing? You know, I, I've been seeing what you've been doing. I'm really impressed. You know, and make a connection. Because that could really benefit you in the long run and them. Okay, so real quickly, because then we'll cut it short, because we have a coaching call with Lisa coming up next. Um, I know you guys have homework of watching the 30-minute video, watching the 13-minute video of how to promote events. But what I would really encourage, in the next week or so, look on your team and specifically look, is there anybody that is consistently having 200 BV or more on their personal account? And if so, ask if they have a spouse, an adult child, or a parent that they can add on as a second. Even if that person is never going to use the product. So I'll use the example of a husband. Kathy, can I pick on you? Yeah. So when Kathy started, her husband was like, nope, not doing it. Don't want anything about it. It's all you. And so Kathy got it. Well, then the kids started using some of the bars, and then she started using, you know, more. And, of course, eventually the curiosity kills the cat. So then Brian's like, well, maybe I do want to try a shake. Um, we opened up Brian's account well before he was ever trying it because he was being really ornery for a couple of months. Mm -hmm. Sweet guy, but just being ornery. And, um, we could be like that. Yeah. <laughs> I had noticed, you know, and cued her, when you get to your spending more than 200 BB a month, we're going to open Brian's account so that you at least get a bonus. And then all you need to do is find one other person. And voila, her sister was like, show me what you're doing. And, and that, uh, the big part of that, guys, is to be able to do this with somebody, you've got to develop that relationship with them and really get to know what's going on in their lives so that they trust you when you suggest doing that. And when you set that, plant that seed, they may not be ready right away. And then it was really cute. I had somebody who couldn't add a spouse, but she called me. She goes, well, can I add my mom? I'm just going to have it sent here. I just need her social security and birth date, right? I'm like, yeah, literally that's all you need from them. You need their, their birth date, social security, and an email because it has to be a different email account. So really, it's irrelevant who's using the product as long as they're ordering 200 or more 
a month. So dig down into your team and look at that. And then also look at anybody who has this massive holding volume, because like we said, we're still trying to learn this customer first thing, but what we're hearing is that whole thing of being able to cash in the massive volume may go away. So if you have somebody who's in that situation, you know, you don't have to scare them saying it's going away. Just put it in the light of, hey, wouldn't it be great to cash us in and get some of your products paid for? You know, and I'm all about talking to them first. How is your journey going? Share with me your latest victories. Like get them talking about how they're feeling and then say, gosh, isn't there somebody who you want on this journey, an accountability partner, somebody who's looking for more energy? And they've got to know one or two people, especially if they have all this holy volume. They've got to know at least one other person. And I think that's where it comes back to your question, Shelly, about the personal holding volume is you've got this massive volume on one leg and then you've got the other leg that's got some volume to it, but it hasn't really cranked up yet. And then you've got personal holding volume of 1,200 or 2,000 BV sitting there, PV. When you become a consultant, all of a sudden, that personal holding volume is added to that weak leg, and it'll be divided by 300 to equal how many cycles you're going to end up with because your right leg can handle all of it. So that's how they figured Amy's cycling, is they took her personal holding volume, added it to her weak leg, divided that by 300 to say she cycled, you know, what, 14 times or whatever the number was. That's how it was developed. I'm going to see if I can find Tiffany Keller at one time had done a really great video and I don't know if it's on HHP or where I can grab it, but it was a, um, like a five or 10 minute video explaining the importance of the hundred BV every month and talking about the difference of BV and PV. I think you posted that on our page too. Okay. So I'm going to go look for it and I'll repost it both on belief builders and on shooting stars so that you can cue your team to watch it as well. I just need to find it. And we need to go because we're way over time. Yeah. So this is the week also, and I just, we haven't gotten to it because we're still car shopping. Um, I want to redo the survey and remember to talk to your team and encourage them to jump on these group calls because how great would it be for everybody to be getting coached at the same time? Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to stick with Thursday nights. I've looked at Jake's schedule, but um I'm going to probably push them back starting a half an hour. And so I'll probably do Thursday night at 730. And then I'll offer a second time of like 815. Um, otherwise, I'm going to keep the Monday, Tuesday the same. And I'll probably offer another Tuesday call after this. Um, so just so you guys know for times for sharing with your team, that's what I'm leaning towards. All right. All right. Well, let me unmute everybody. It was great to see everybody. and. Um, Anybody, so I don't know, um, Anne, if you talk to Rhonda or Sheila, since Sheila didn't make it on here today, she can log on to Thursdays. I don't know that we'll cover the exact same material. I want to see what questions they have on the comp plan. But since she didn't log on, I'll try and remember to shoot her a message. But if you happen to see her, let her know she's welcome to log on Thursday. Okay. All right. All right. Well, have a good week, everybody. And I can't wait to hear what you guys learned from that 30-minute podcast about objections, because I think you'll all love it. Thanks, Jenny. Right. Thank you. Later. Bye. 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 Bye.